Who doesn't love a cute coaster? Not only are they great for drinks, but have you ever used them underneath a plant as a little plant coaster? I'm gonna jump straight into these tutorials and the first one is ridiculously easy. The second one is kind of a two-in-one because it looks great right side up and upside down. I'm using four millimeter single strand cord. I've cut eight at 120 centimeters long. I'm attaching all eight cords to the dowel with the lark's head knot. If you already know this knot, skip ahead. The length of the dowel doesn't matter because we're taking it off at the end. Take your cord and now you want to fold your cord in half equally. Take your ends, take them behind the dowel, over the top. Now you have the loop of the other end Put these ends through that loop and pull down. And that's the Lark's head knot. Attach all eight cords this way. Well, we're gonna do this simple square knot pattern. If you already know the square knot, skip ahead to the next chapter. For the square knot, you need four cords. That would be two lengths attached with the Lark's head knot. Take your left cord, you wanna bring it over top of those two filler cords. Now you're taking your right cord on top of that cord that you just brought over. Now you bring it around behind the two filler cords and then through this opening on this side. And now you pull those to the top. Now you take the right cord, you go over top of the two middle cords. Now the left cord goes over that cord around behind the back of the filler cords and through this opening. And you pull that snug. With the first four cords, make a square knot and then make three more across the top. For this next row, skip the first two cords, make another square knot and then make two more across the top. Starting from the left, do another row of square knots, then skip two cords and do another row. Now do three more rows of square knots, maintaining that alternating sequence. When I'm done, the knotted area ends up being 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. I make sure the last square knot of each row is really tight. I do this so it stays really secure when we cut the fringe. Remove the dowel, Make sure these square knots are really tight as well. We're gonna straighten out those lark's head knots. I'm going to cut the fringe about three centimeters long. I use a rotary cutter to do this, but you could also use scissors. Now just finish it off by combing out the fringe. Now we're gonna do the second coaster, which is the vertical clove hitch. And I don't know which way I like it better because it looks good on both sides. Attach eight 60 centimeter lengths to the dowel with the lark's head knot. Place the roll of cord on the floor and then pull up the end. We'll cut it when we're done knotting. This really reduces cord waste. Now we're gonna do the vertical clove hitch pattern. Place the end of the cord behind the two cords on the left. I'm making a loop that is going on top of itself. Lay the two cords over top of the loop. Pull them through from front to back. Make the loop snug and push it to the top. Take the same cord again and loop it over itself. Take the two cords over top of the loop and pull them through. Make the loop snug to the top again. You always do two knots before moving on to the next cords. The first knot's the hardest because of the way you have to hold the cords, but it's really easy from now forward. Take the cord behind the next two cords and do the exact same thing. Continue doing this all the way across to the other side. Now we're gonna go back in the other direction. Take the cord behind the end two cords, make a loop to the left, laying the cord over itself. 
lay the two cords on top of the loop and then pull them through front to back. Make it snug and push it up and do that again on the same cords. So now we're gonna do this knot all the way to the other side. And now just keep going back and forth until the knotted area is about 10 centimeters long. Cut the end from the roll and leave enough to tuck it in at the back. Remove the dowel, undo those lurks head loops, and now cut both ends allowing three centimeters for fringe. And then I like to glue those last knots so they stay in place. I do this on both sides of the coaster. I'm flipping the coaster over now and tucking in the cords. I like using forceps to do this. I then also put a dab of glue to hold the end in place and then I cut off the excess. And now comb out the fringe. I always go in and trim up the edges at the end. For this third coaster, we're gonna do the vertical clothesfitch again, but using two colors. First, do a row in each direction of the vertical clothesfitch. Now cut the end of that cord, and I'm gonna use this dusty rose color. Now I just start the new color the same way I did the first color. I go all the way across and back, and then I cut that cord off and I start again with my first color. Keep going until it's the length you want. I'm going to 10 centimeters. Then finish it off the same way you did the last one. Click on this tutorial if you want to learn to make the round coaster.